Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to cover transparency. So in the scene, you'll notice that I have a mocha pot geometry. And what I'd like to do is get a better sense of what the geometry is, what's inside, so that I can start extracting the fluid region and begin meshing. Now, there are various ways you could go about doing this. I could select you know, components of the geometry and put them in different layers. I could hide them. I could temporarily delete them even, and then undo those operations to kind of start peeking through the geometry. One of the things I can do now is change the transparency. So I'll go ahead and select the geometry. I'll go to View, Attributes, and inside this panel, there's an advanced frame with a transparency slider that goes from 0% all the way up to 100%. And I can move this to change the level of transparency of the entities that I've selected. So you'll notice now these are being rendered as transparent. I can see through them and clearly see the spout on the inside as well as the filter to get a better sense of the computational domain. A similar operation can be performed for grid entities. So I can go ahead and select domains of a mesh and change their transparency as well to similar effect and get a sense for what's inside. In this case, you'll notice now a sphere is peeking through those domains because I've changed their level of transparency. You can also change the level of transparency for persistent cuts so you can get a better sense of the quality of your mesh when you have multiple cuts through your model. And those are some ways you can use transparency in PointWise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.